by Balmona Gas Charles Leclerc on our Grand Prix, while David Fauré closes the third row on his CRG. Tension is pretty high when the pilots are deployed onto the grid. At the start, Hardico is cold as ice, and darting away, he takes the lead ahead of the Monegasque Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, Felice Tiene, Paolo De Conto and David Foray. During the first of 20 laps, Marco Hardigo is so pumped that he manages to get a couple of tenths of advantage over his rivals, including Max Verstappen, who is hell-bent on getting the second position from Leclerc. During the first lap, two of the drivers, Patrick Hayen and Roberto Toninelli, have a collision and are forced to abandon the match. Hardigo, in the meantime, is faster than light. This is a figure of speech, since this scenario is physically impossible. When the second lap begins, Max Verstappen starts looking for trajectories to overtake his most direct opponent. Even if the overtake seems hard to realize, the speed and grit of the Dutch push Leclerc hard to outperform himself. And so the gap between Ardigo and Leclerc is halved, going from six tenths of second to three. The first known podium positions are occupied by Paolo De Conto, fourth, David Foré and Felice Tiene. The overtake of the Flying Dutchman arrives when the third lap begins. A sketchy turn by Leclerc hands over the keys of the second position to Max. overtake of the Flying Dutchman arrives when the third lap begins. A sketchy turn by Leclerc hands over the keys of the second position to Max. The Dutch, however, does not seem to be content and then enters the wake of Ardigo's Tony Kart, where he starts to provoke his adversary into a reaction which may give the Dutch a possibility of breaching his defenses. Ardigo is not able to escape. Behind him, Max Verstappen seems able to keep his pace and at the same time to actively seek on attack trajectory. At the beginning of the fourth lap, the three highest positions are very close, but among them, Verstappen seems to have the sharpest edge. And this cutting edge is demonstrated at the beginning of the fifth lap, when he surgically overtakes Ardigo, who is not able to retaliate and succumbs to the wrath of the Dutch. Everyone expects Verstappen to open a gap and win by himself. But instead, Marco Ardigo attacks again, trying to surprise the Dutch. Behind them, the long line of opponents is led by Leclerc. Third, Paolo De Conto, locked in a struggle with Davide Foré, in fourth and fifth position respectively, the English Lennox Lamb, Mercator Cellini and Felice Tiene. Top four drivers remain compact. So close, that they seem to touch. Max Verstappen feels Ardigo presence. The Dutch champion turns around and sees him ready to attack. So there is nothing he can do but step up the pace of the race. But in doing so, he is relentlessly copied by Ardigo. Leclerc, Foré, which has overtaken the Conto, then Lennox Lamb, Torsellini, and Ben Hanley. Then, halfway through the race, Max Verstappen decides that it's time to get serious and further increases his speed. This is where his opponents start to cringe. Behind him, Marco Ardigo fails to respond efficiently and at the end of lap number 10, the advantage of Max Verstappen is in the order of 7 cents of a second. Verstappen's advantage begins to rise inexorably, while behind, Ardigo begins faltering. Even Leclerc seems to give in so much that the Monegasque is threateningly approached by Davide Foray and Lennox Lamb from its shining new fifth location. Witnessing Verstappen's driving skill is a life experience. The Dutch pilot seemed like he was unable to get Ardigo off his back, but now he gains tenths of a second every lap. During lap 11, the gap is about 1.5 seconds, almost unbridgeable while Marco Ardigo must look behind his shoulder from possible attacks coming from the group of pursers led by Leclerc, followed by Davide Foré and Lennox Lamb. At the beginning of lap number 12, the Monegasque Charles Leclerc 
sinks his teeth into the juicy meat of Hardy Goh's overtake, who slips back into third position. The clerks attempts to bridge the gap with Verstappen, but are in vain. Behind him, the fight for the fourth place rages, with the English Lennox Lamb who successfully attacks David de Foray after Marco Ardigo has been overtaken. In the meantime, the standard bearer of Tony Kart manages to get back in Leclerc's wake, proving that his head is still cool enough to allow him to fight for the second step of the podium. Victory is now unreachable, over two seconds away, which is the amount of time that Max has put between his opponents and him from the 10th lap onwards. At the beginning of the 14th lap, Lennox Lamb is still fighting and struggling for that second place, followed closely by Davide Fauré, Paolo De Conto, Mirko Torsellini and Bas Lammers in 8th place. In the 15th lap, positions are shuffled when Ardigo gets in 2nd position by champing Leclerc, but a few bands later, Lennox Lamb steals the 2nd position, followed by the Monegasque and by Marco Ardigo, who slicks back into 4th position. It's a very exciting and spectacular stage of the race, where Lennox Lamb and Leclerc engage in a white-hot duel, favoring Max Verstappen, who increases his advantage to more than 3 seconds. The only undecided podium positions are 2nd and 3rd. Lennox Lamb and Clerc are at each other's throat, while Artigo, after having risked losing his 4th position, seems to be able to get back in the fray for a 3rd placement. Behind Artigo, we can find Paolo De Conto, Bas Lammers, Mirko Torsellini, Ben Hanley, all of them eligible candidates for the podium. With two laps to go, Leclerc passes Lennox Lamb, taking the second place, while Marco Ardigo loses positions, slipping behind in eighth place. On the last lap, Max Verstappen has plenty of time to enjoy his first well-deserved title of world champion, while behind him, the final sprint for second place is won by Charles Leclerc for only 60 milliseconds of Lennox Lamb. On the podium, the new KZ1 world champion, Max Verstappen, who receives the official crowning. This bright young lad is now both European and world champion in the same category. Yeah, um, I think this weekend was really hard from the beginning because everybody was so close and everybody worked really hard for this, for this race because uh, we had a long break for KZ, so everybody was with the top chassis, the top engines completely uh, on the maximum they have. So it was, I think, one of the most competitive races. But then to win in the final like that, I think is just amazing. Yeah, he, of course, he's really happy uh, because I won also with his engine. So I think it's just perfect combination. Second placement for the Monegas Charles Leclerc. Third for the English Jordan Lennox Lamb. And so the tale of the flying Dutch